let us see one more fraction example in this case we have 3 upon 4 1 upon 6 and 4 upon 5 let us find out which fraction has the highest value and which fraction has least value in order to find out highest and least value we need to find out LCM of their denominators let us see all the prime factors of these three these three numbers 4 6 and 5 4 4 it has two multiples 2 multiplied by 2 and which are the prime factors of 4 for 6 we can write it as 2 multiplied by 3 and 5 will be written as 5 multiplied by 1 or only 5 draw a simple table having three rows and four columns two three and four four columns and three rows this is row number one row number two row number three vertically this is column number one column number two column three and four in row one write all the prime factors of four which are two times two in row number two write all the prime factors of six that is two and three in row number five row number three write all the prime factors of five that is 5. Let us multiply all the prime factors together to get LCM of 4, 6 and 5. But only condition is that in any column we should not have we should not have any duplicate number. If we have duplicates in any column then we need to consider that number only once. For example in column number 1 we have 2 times 2 so we need to consider it only once. So we are writing value of column number 1 that is 2 then in column 2, 3 and 4 we have only one entry so we are considering that as well multiplied by 2 in column 3 we have 3 in column 4 we have 5 this is 60 so LCM of LCM of 4, 6 and 5 is 60 now we need to rewrite all three fractions 3 upon 4, 1 upon 6 and 4 upon 5 in such a way that their denominator becomes 60. So we need to multiply denominator of 3 upon 4 with 15 so that denominator becomes 60. As we multiply denominator with 15, we need to multiply row multiply numerator with 15 also. So the final value is 45 upon 60. For 1 upon 6, in this case also we need denominator as 60. So we, we are multiplying numerator and denominator with 10 that is 10 upon 60 same same way 4 upon 5 we need to make its denominator 60 so 12 is the number which we need to multiply with numerator and denominator so it is 48 upon 60 now rewrite the new values so for 3 upon 4 we are writing 45 upon 60 for 1 upon 6 we are writing 10 upon 60 and for 4 upon 5 we are writing 48 upon 60 as we have 60 uh, common in the denominator so it becomes very easy to find out which fraction has the highest value based on its numerator value so the fraction with highest numerator value will be the greatest fraction greatest fraction in this case 48 upon 60 will have the highest value then we will have 45 upon 60 45 upon 60 and finally the least uh, value fraction will be 10 upon 60 so this is the order let us rewrite 40 upon 60 uh, 40 upon 60 is nothing but 4 upon 5 so 4 upon 5 has the highest value second 3 upon 4 and third 1 upon 6 so this is the order of fraction based on their value I mean the highest uh, fraction value has uh, in, uh, has come first then second fraction value and finally the least fraction value 4 upon 5, 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 6. Thanks for watching.